Hi, welcome to Caballala. My name is Agosta. I hope you guys are doing better. I am recuperating from COVID and that's why I decided to design this uh, short sequence for us to start practicing again and feel a little better. In, with COVID, everybody has different symptoms, so there is different things that it could affect your practice. I feel like I have all the symptoms. Now I am way better, but I still have congestion, so I cannot uh, practice a forward fall or anything that my head uh, goes below my hip. Um, my cough is better, so if you have cough, the best exercises are going to be opening your chest. Uh, if you have pain, depends where, uh, in your back, maybe stretches like child's pose or very gentle stretches like that. And if you have neck pain, just stretches in the neck. So I'm going to uh, show you the sequence that I'm doing for me because it goes better with how I feel, but you know, you have to see depending on the symptoms what will work best for you. Stop talking now, we're going to need a blanket. And if you have yoga blocks, great. If no, just a blanket, we can just roll it and use it for support of the spine and the back. So go get your blanket. Uh, also, if you have access to a wall, that's great. So we can stretch our back a little bit. So I'll see you in a moment. So if you have your blanket, we're going to start. So we're going to start in um, laying on our backs first. So bending the legs and slowly using your arms, just come on your back and take your knees towards each other, feet wide apart, and just take a couple breaths. We're going to move it slowly and relax. The poses that we're going to practice today are going to be gentle and just to make us feel a little better. Bring your attention inward, inhaling in through the nose and out through the nose. And see that when you exhale, you get all the air off your lungs. So when you bring fresh air, it fills your lungs completely. And then we're going to walk the feet towards each other and we're going to bring the knees towards the chest. Hug your legs in, grab the shin bone, avoid the um, knee area. You don't want to squeeze your knees or your kneecap. And then we're going to keep the right knee towards the chest, place the left foot on the ground and drag your left leg forward left toes pointing towards the ceiling. Relax the back of the neck and relax your shoulders. Bringing the chin towards the chest helps to lengthen the back of the neck and that feels nice when your neck has been hurting. And then squeezing the right knee, keep the left toes pointing towards the ceiling. The left leg is active. My stomach is talking, I apologize for that. I don't know if you can, can hear that. That's funny. The stomach is also affected by COVID for many people. And then we're going to bring the left knee towards the chest. Grab your left knee, extend your right leg forward, right toes pointing towards the ceiling. Check in with your shoulders and your neck and see that we maintain the relaxation and a little soft stretch. Shoulders come towards the ground. Squeeze. Good. And then slowly release. Bend both legs. We're going to lift the right leg, cross on top of the left thigh. Flex your right foot. And if it's available for you, you can bring the left knee towards your chest. Right hand between the legs. Left hand comes from the outside of the left leg. And you can grab from under your thigh perhaps interlacing the fingers. Now, if this is not possible, you can keep your left leg here on the ground and just bring in this leg, the right leg on top, perhaps it's enough a stretch. Make sure you are flexing your right foot because that it's connect, helps the connection 
on the hip flexor of the right hip. And bring the knee a little closer. Just a couple more breaths, nice stretch. And then feet on the ground, we are switching. Left leg on top of the right. And we bring the knee towards the chest, flex your left foot. Very nice. Just relaxing. We deserve relax. A relaxing moment after feeling not well. We are feeling a little better, but we are not 100% perhaps. So we have to move slowly and take care of ourselves nicely. And slowly release. Now we're going to grab the block if you have one. If you don't have the block, just imagine that you have one and you just can bring the arms up like we are doing with the block. You can also grab a book. Books sometimes help because give you a little weight and have the same shape as the block. So we're going to bring the arms up 90 degrees. Bring your feet hip distance apart and the feet close to your buttocks. We're going to inhale and bring the arms overhead. Stretch. Stretch the arms overhead, relax the back of the neck. The abdomen is coming in a little bit. And then we're going to start pressing into the feet Bring the tailbone in, and now the abdomen will come even more in. So we can bring perhaps the entire back towards the ground. Keep stretching the arms, elbows in. Press with your hands. Stretch overhead as much as you can. Open the armpits. Just a couple more breaths. Keep pressing with the feet. Keep bringing the abdomen in. And then we're going to release the back nice and slowly. And then bring the arms all the way up. We're going to repeat this. Inhale, arms overhead. Stretch your arms. Make sure your elbows are in. But now bringing the elbows out. Elbows in. Stretching. Feel those arms touching the wall behind you. And if you don't have a block, just keep the hands facing each other, arms parallel to each other. And then we're going to add the back. So press with the feet, abdomen in, tailbone in, lower back descends. Feel nice stretch through the rib cage. Inhale and exhale. Good. And release your back. Bring your arms all the way up and down. And we're going to roll to a side nice and slowly. Just take your time. And when you're ready, you can push with your hands and come up. We're going to open our chest a little bit. So grab your blanket. We're going to roll the blanket like, do like a little egg roll. So you'll see depends how flexible you are in your back. Because we're going to do a little supported back bend. So you may don't need too much of a roll, a big roll, or you might, depends. So you'll feel it. So place it across your mat. And we're going to sit back with the blanket behind us. And then we're going to slowly come down and bring this blanket right where your shoulder blades meet. So the bikini line where the shoulder blades meet right under the armpits. And then slowly come down and then you push with your feet so you can scooch a little bit trying to bring the shoulders towards the ground if the shoulders don't touch the ground it's okay you can scooch a little more 
but you'll feel it. You'll feel when it's uncomfortable or when it's okay. And then you extend your legs, toes pointing towards the ceiling. This is a little back bend. It's very nice to open in the chest to help us to breathe better. We can inhale deep in through the mouth or the nose and then exhale nice and slowly through the mouth or the nose. Breathing through the mouth sometimes disturbs the brain because the uh, fight and flight uh, reaction with the sympathetic and the parasympathetic systems and the breathing through the mouth usually wakes up the brain and makes us more like alert. So many times it's better to just try to breathe through the nose, but all depends how your congestion is, obviously. I'm congested, so I'm breathing more through my mouth, but to con counter the effect of the breathing through the mouth and alert my brain, what I do is just Make my breathing slower and deeper. Just a couple more breaths if you can keep this. Extend your legs, squeeze your quads, toes pointing up. Good. And then to come up of this, we gotta be careful. Our back was bending for a little bit. So what we do is we bend the legs nice and slowly one at a time. And then we push. Watch out your hair. My hair is long and it's getting a trapped. Push. And then when the blanket is under your hip area, you can take it to the side. Just move it out. And lay it on your back for a couple of breaths. Good. And then we're going to roll to the side. And again, slowly come up. So I wanted just to bring one standing pose. And what we're going to do is bring the fingertips towards the wall, just to stretch our back a little bit. So fingertips at the wall, bring your fingertips align with your shoulders. And then slowly start moving back. See if you're congested, if when you're congested, congested um, you may feel that this position is not the best. So you can try and see how that feels. As long as I don't take my head below my hip, I'm okay. But all depends each person how they feel. And then keep your feet hip distance apart under your uh, hips. So keeping trying to keep the alignment between the hips, the knees, and the ankles. And then the gaze is going to be forward and down. So I am looking at the area where the wall and the floor connects. And then extending the arms, bring the abdomen in, and the chest is trying to be parallel to the floor. Shoulders move away from the ears. So shoulder blades come towards each other, the bottom tip of the shoulder blades. Couple more breaths, stretch the back, lift your kneecaps. The legs need to be straight. That's the idea for accomplishing this stretch. Good. And slowly walk towards the wall and take a breath here. And then we're going to come to the mat. Let's do a nice little stretch. Inhale, lift the arms up, bring your feet together and exhale. Inhale once again, <coughs> excuse me. Exhale, lower your arms. And you feel you need a little uh, twist for stretching the sides of the body. Depends how you feel, you can do that. Inhale, arms up. We can interlace the fingers, palms up. Exhale. And we can go to a side. And come back to center. Inhale, exhale, lower. Once more, inhale, arms up, and place the opposite finger. There was, if before you had the left on top, the left uh, index, you place the um, right. You will feel the uncomfortable side that is your 
uh, no favor side. So then just put the other finger on top and come to the other side. We try to pick under the arm. You can see the ceiling under our arm. Good. And come back, inhale, exhale, lower your arms. Good. We're going to go back to our seated position. Cross your legs. We're just sitting on the seat bones and we're going to stretch a little bit our necks. I had a lot of pain in my parotids, glands, and my neck uh, last week. I feel better now, but still I feel like tension in my neck. So let's stretch. Left fingertips on the ground, right arm lift up, reach up first. Inhale and exhale. And then we're going to grab our left ear and take the head towards the right, descending the right shoulder. Just a little stretch in the neck. Keep lifting the chest, keep lifting through the sides of the waist. And if you have trouble staying on your sit bones, you can sit against the wall and you can sit on top of your blanket so you have more lift. Last breath. And slowly release. And we go to the other side. Right fingertips on the ground. Inhale, left arm up, reach up, exhale. And then we grab the right ear. Oh, I feel this one more. Just feel the stretch here in the right side of your neck. Very gentle, lift your chest. Good. Just stay in few breaths here. Keep lifting the chest. The shoulder goes down. So try to move the shoulders always away from the ears. Good. And slowly release. And our last pose, we're going to use again our egg roll. But this time, the spine is going to be resting on uh, the mm, blanket this way. So the blanket is parallel to the longer edges of the mat. And you can use another blanket for your head if you need a little lift. So we're going to bend the legs and Place the edge of the blanket against your lower back and then using your arms nice and slowly lay it on top of the blanket. Feeling the spine resting in the blanket and if this is okay for you, you can extend the legs forward. Take the palms up so your shoulders open and we extend the legs as much as we can squeezing the quadriceps, toes pointing towards the ceiling, spreading through the collarbones, bringing the chin towards the chest. And just taking a few breaths here. Just enjoying this chest opener and you can stay here as much as you want. You can stay here a long time and just relaxing. You can even let go of the legs if you want, or you can bend the legs and bring the soles of the feet together for the butterfly, recline butterfly. This pose sometimes feels good for some people. You can even place um, bl blankets or blocks under your knees to feel better, to let the legs rest, it uh, feels better for you. Couple more breaths. Like I say, you can be here all the time you want to. And then we're going to bend the legs one at a time. To come out of this, we're going to roll to a side. Take a moment and then sit up so we can do our resting Shavasana. For our resting Shavasana, we're going to use our blanket 
and place it under our knees. That feels so nice. So you place it under your knees, but first bend your legs and then lay it on your back and then rest your knees, let go of your feet. <sighs> Let's let go of your arms at the shoulder socket, let go of your legs. Just breathe, inhale and exhale. See if you can observe your breathing. Take the top of the shoulders down, but relax. Some people get really tension and stress with illness. It's normal, we don't feel good and everything is difficult and painful and it's very stressful. So being able to release and relax. Meditation is really good. Yoga Nidra. I have some videos um, in my channel, Yoga Nidra, if you want to try it. To help you to sleep better and relax. And you can stay here all you want. It's up to you. Just spoil yourself, give yourself love. You need yourself to take care of yourself. And then we're going to bend the legs, or you can stay, like I said earlier. And we're going to roll to a side. And slowly sitting up. We're going to move this blanket across the legs. And we're going to finish our class. Sit on your seat bones. Lift through the sides of the waist. Lift the chest and bring your hands, hands center. Last breath together. Inhale. Exhale. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope that you feel a little bit better and I hope that you continue improving, take care of yourself, drink a lot of tea for some reason, drinking tea help me, help my throat, uh, make me feel comforted for some reason, warm tea. So I recommend that and uh, a lot of rest. I hope that I can see you next time. Remember, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel so I know that you like the videos and that it makes me feel more supported. Thank you for all your company with me today and I'll see you next time. Thank you.